So these are glow-in-the-dark pacifier clips. So, how to use a clip. Comes with a little instructional card. It says to hold the clip between your fingers, place the thumb between the clasp and push up. To close, press down on the clasp. That kind of looks like an alligator clip. If you're not 100% satisfied, please contact babygoose.paul. So there's your customer service if you have a problem. They are really cute, and what I was thinking was if you have a baby and you want to clean their pacifier, you know they've already taken it to bed with them. Here's one of the designs. Let's see if my phone will lock in. So, your child takes their pacifier to bed with them. Here's how it works. You sum up. Ha 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 ha! I'm going to kill you! Na ha ha! No, I'm not. I'm for babies. What? This took a weird turn. Oh no. Anyway, lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Rah, 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 rah. So this would be the end that you clip to your child's shirt, jammies, wherever. And this is the end that attaches to the pacifier. So let's see. There's three different instructions for use with a soothie, for use with the pacifier with a ring, and then for use with a pacifier with no ring. I've got to try to figure this out, but what I wanted to do was, I first, I tried to get it to glow at first, and there was nothing. No glowing. Oops, sorry that you had a bathroom shot. How do I get you to see that it glows now? I got to get rid of this, uh, hold on. I've got to find the... See if I can get rid of the flash. I think it's just gonna mess that up. Yes, it's a pain in the butt. What I'll have to do is uh, redo the video and turn off the flash. But the whole point of this was is that when I first I had put it by a light source, I didn't get any glow, um, and that was in the window. So what I did was, is I put it up, up here. I put it up on top of my lamp because I figured I got to give it a chance. Instead of just saying, yeah, it didn't glow. Um, so that being said, just your average daylight um, doesn't really do a big glowing. It doesn't make this glow really well. I had to put it up there. But maybe since it was kicked off and... Uh, you know, we got it to glow, maybe it will continue. Who knows? Maybe it's like a light switch. Who knows? Either way, don't give up on it if you first get it and you're like, I can't get it to glow. Um, I, I was able. I, w <laughs> I was going to show my son just to be a monster. Um, I was able to get it to glow by putting it up at a light source. Now, that also being said... I live in a basement apartment, so I don't have a lot of natural light. There is, that's my window. This is the windows of my house. That's it. So I originally was trying to just do this with natural light, but because of me living in the basement, um, I don't have a lot of natural light. So 
I will come back and uh, I'm going to turn that flash off that's on my video and then I'll take you into the bathroom and show you that yes it does glow but again it didn't I think I had trouble getting it to glow because of I don't have a lot of natural light so most people don't live in a basement apartment and they have a lot of windows so but I think this is a great idea because I remember that one there the pacifier it was like I only showed you from uh, up oh. it was like he had pacifier radar that he knew that I was coming to get that pacifier and as soon as I started searching through the crib he would get up and be like whoosh, and put it back in his mouth so this would be nice because if it's glowing um, well you probably have it attached to their clothes um, you're gonna not gonna have to search for it it's be an easy pacifier retrieval to clean them so and not only that there's been times that pacifiers all by themselves they get lost so here it is on a little chain for you and another thing I know another thing I don't like the pacifier chains that are made out of beads because anything that is a bead always has a slight chance of coming undone and choking your child so unless your kid thinks this is spaghetti I think we're good to go but um, I don't even review I don't even accept the reviews for the pacifier we'll call it like a little leash that has the beads because I'm opposed to them because there is that chance there's always a chance when you have beads involved that they could come apart and somebody's gonna get choked so I would feel safe with this not safe with the bead at once so I'll come back and show you uh, without the light source and I also have to figure out how this works so I'll pause this and uh, come back and add the other section on Double side it by the way. This is the girl, the girl kit, the girl package. Double side it. Very cute. Some giraffes. Some owls, which are very hot right now and trending. And these look like they might be little, I was, at first I thought they were ducks, but I actually think they're like little whales. Think there's whales? So they're adorable. I would highly recommend these over the chains with the beads. Is that little whales? It's whales and chickens. Whales and chickens? <laughs> Looks like it. It's probably just whales because whales and chickens probably don't hang out together. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Being a seasoned mom, uh, this is the way I would go. I would feel safe with this with my granddaughter because my granddaughter. The, <laughs> the beads, there's always that chance with the beads. And I know the companies that have the ones with the beads are probably hating me for that. But hey, you worked really hard to make that baby. You incubated it in your tummy, kept it safe. And you don't want it choking on a pacifier bead. So yeah, I'm going to figure this out to see exactly what this does, how it works, and then I'll come back and uh, finish the video.